Hello, Taurus. Oh my gosh, that just like shot through my teeth so hard for some reason. card down Ooh, the cat very spiritual independence magic abundance man I swear sometimes Taurus has like the best readings so I can't wait sometimes to do Taurus readings I, I don't know why but y'all just one of my most favorite boyfriends was a Taurus and me and him Got along so well. Like, it was retarded how well we got along. Okay, we also got the cow. Very beautiful. And the dog. The dog. Very, like, honestly, a cat, a dog, and a cow could all be living under the same roof together. Isn't that so weird? Like very, very weird animals today, Pisces. Oh, Aries. I just did Pisces. No, I did Aries. We're on Taurus. My God. Maybe there's a Pisces watching. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, fertility, purity. <laughs> you guys have my purity. Oh my God. Whitney, purity, divinity, Independence, magic, abundance, devotion, protection, service. Oh. Okay, so it seems like there's um, a service coming towards you, an abundant service. Because the dog is about kind of like, um, it's just about histories, um, you know, mythology of dogs over the years. And from the looks of it, they have, their task is to just help their masters. Um, people in Japan sacrificed a black dog uh, for clouds filled with rain. Um Dogs have always been uh, domesticated companions of humans. Um, they're sacrificed for the benefit of the group. Um, so a lot of people have sacrificed dogs, okay, um, in order to get things, I guess. And uh, with cat would be magic. The cat is well known for its independent character. And the Egyptian um, mythology of the beasts, the supreme being, the divine mother of all cats was the goddess um, she was, she's here depicted in the painting an earth mother as a deity in the life of abundance. Um, okay. So yeah, cats are, um, it's really hard to read these cards. Like, look, like they are very intricate. Okay. <laughs> so I'm kind of just, I don't, I don't play with them. I don't, I've had them for years. I, I don't fuck with these cards because they're very like sacred cards in my eyes. So when they want to be on TV, I go, really, do you really want to go and do YouTube right now? They said yes. So trying to understand what they're saying is kind of intricate because it's like, it's ancestors from a very long time ago. So they don't use the same language as we use. So to decipher their messages or it's kind of, it takes me longer to do is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, and then the cow, fertility, purity, and divinity. The cow, amongst things, is an a sacred animal. In Egypt, the cow is a sculpture of a golden sun between its horns. Um, the annual event performed in all, G oh, all Souls Day. The cow figure is represented as Isis. Um, her search for her husband's dead body. Jesus. The beast is of India, considered a great being of purity and fertility in Hinduism. She represents feminine power in nature. See, the thing is, I actually don't think we're supposed to eat cows. I think we're only supposed to drink their milk. Uh, and that's it. Which is crazy. Okay, so we have a dog sacrifice with magic in the middle. And 
Purity. Purity, magic, and devotion. Maybe this is somebody coming into your life. Is going to be like the most sacred fucking human in the world. Um, or you are the most sacred fucking human in the world. That has been sacrificed over and over and over again in order to service other people. And now magic is coming in for you because you've remained pure. You haven't let things that have hurt you destroy you. There's also, I feel like, possibly some type of service companion that's going to come into your life. Like maybe you're getting a service dog. Okay. Um, a female service dog. Okay. That's actually going to most likely bring more abundance into your life than you could ever imagine. Because this dog is magical. Something magical is coming into somebody's life. Okay. Like literally, that's what I'm getting. Somebody magical or something magical is coming into somebody's life. That's what I friggin' thought. It's a person. Okay, and then dog. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. What I'm getting is um, with the cow, we've got the engineer with the 10 of engines, the nine of Leviathans, the two of airships and the six of engines. Okay. So what I'm think, what I'm feeling is something is being crafted by this engineer. Okay. So it allows you to leave something behind to create a new partnership. Okay. Which is what this dog um, has to do with, okay. It's, that's the thing that's, that's coming into your life. Okay. That's the person who's coming into your life. Um, the way that they see you, the, the magic here, okay. Is the fact that somebody, um, okay. We got the four Leviathans. Okay. The queen of submersibles, the 10 of Leviathans, the triumph, which is the chariot, and then two of submersibles and the five of Leviathans in reverse. So, um, like, I really feel like somebody is for sure getting out of like some type of poverty. Okay. Something where it's like, you're under the 20 grand cap. Okay. Like somebody is not poor, but they're not willing to fight for what they have anymore. So they have to leave. They have to go somewhere else. Okay. And when they move towards what they want, what they realize is that, um, somebody comes into their life or you travel to somebody. Okay. And that's where the magic happens. 
All right. It's like something that is going to take you out of poverty and put you into a family. So it's like, we've got four walls around you in a house and you're not going to be fucking homeless again, or you're not going to be living in an apartment building again, something like that. Okay. So, and then with the dog, nine of airships, six of submersibles and messenger of Leviathans, which tells me that somebody is a little bit worried. Okay. That, that you're, they're not going to be able to be what you need but it's just worry and that's it that's that's it it's just that means that somebody is actually going to take the job seriously and actually take care of you or something along those lines okay like this might even be um this might this could be coming in in another dimension or you could be a single woman okay or a single man and you're going to go into a unit okay um I do feel like it's possibly somebody from the past, which is why the six of cups is here. Um, but they have to message you. Okay. Um, Knight of Pentacles, they're the ones that have to deliver the message and they're worried about delivering the message. So I do, something's coming in here. A message is, is on its way to you. Um, and it's like somebody's put together something magnificent or you've put together something that's like incredible incredible it's going to end up giving you everything that you need okay i was also told that spirit didn't really like that i used that deck for some reason so i'm gonna use this deck Jesus. Still mad at me because I want this deck. Okay. Okay. Give me the cow. Page of Swords. Information. Magical information. Okay. There's the moon, ace of cups, magical information that you can't see. So this, there is something on its way for you, but it's in the egg. Okay. It's in, but this, the egg is the ace of cups. So, but it's hidden. See with the moon. And that's why this person is, um, has anxiety to talk to you because you scare them. Or you have like scary presence, okay? But, and, and what they think they have to say is so small, but it's not. It's huge. It's actually magically what the other person has wanted too. That's what I feel. Oh. Woo. The magician. The devil the world okay so they're done scaring you okay they're gonna come in very nice this energy is gonna come in very nice to you okay i don't know maybe it's the universe that scared you um but somebody has scared somebody i think that um you might have had a lot of enemies in the past okay and see that egg again right so the world is gonna hatch this egg that it has for you and um It lights up a lot. Page of Wands with the moth. Beautiful. Yeah, somebody's going to become devoted to you. And then that's just it. You know, like it's the devotion, this dog. Like somebody is, or the world is giving you devotion. All right, it's hatching, it's in the works. But it has to, it's, it's magical. So it has to happen when it's ready to happen, when it's ready to hatch. And then this, the like the universe is going to deliver you this message. 
And that's where the magician beats the devil because I don't, this, this energy is not scary. It's just, I think something that has been, um, hidden for a really long time and like maybe submerged in somebody's subconscious for a really long time, or the universe has hidden it for a really long time and it has to surface slowly. So then it doesn't scare you, but there's magic coming in. Like I can't even really necessarily say what it is. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the message itself, obviously, because again, um, it's, it's going to happen in different ways for people. And I do feel like, um, somebody who's coming in that's willing this this service dog okay is coming in to work hard for you okay um and it might be something that scares the shit out of you because you're not used to something that's so loyal but somebody wants to be loyal or the or the world is bringing in loyalty basically because of how pure you are Right. Like I said, there's, there's something that you do. It's almost like you've been sacrificed this whole time. And now the world, your universe is ready to make a sacrifice for you. Okay. Because you've been that loyal companion to somebody. Now it's like you get the loyal companion only makes sense. Right. What goes around comes around. So that's also how I'm getting this message. So I do feel like there is a loyal companion coming in for somebody and the universe is ready to give it to you because it's magical as fuck. You've gone places that you said you were going to do. You've done things that you said you were going to do. You were the loyal one. You demonstrated um, pure companionship. You demonstrated what a relationship is. And then that comes through as being the perfect relationship for you right? It's like, it slowly grows. The cow is the fertility. It allowed the cow came in to fertilize the eggs. That's what it did. And when your egg hatches, cause there's going to be different eggs for everybody. Once your egg hatches, your egg in that egg is a service dog, a loyal fucking companion. And that's the final message. Wow. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. And that's it. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please, Pisces. Oh, Aries, Taurus. Oh my God, I did that twice. That's, I don't stumble on my words like that. That's really fucking weird. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't Taurus. If it's not, if you're not a Taurus, but it still resonates with you, please take it. Um, obviously take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. Um, obviously not everybody is getting a service dog, but fuck everybody could be that watches this. How do I know? I ain't going to judge. I ain't going to say that it's for somebody and it's not for somebody else. Why would I? But you know your energy and you know what you've done. If you've been a loyal companion, then you would know that a loyal companion is coming in for you. Uh, for personal readings, Whitney Moonshine at gmail.com. I will be taking the readings down shortly for a period of time, but I will put them back up again, obviously. So either get them now or later. It's up to you. I don't really give a shit. Um, thanks for the emails, the subscribes, the comments, the affirmations, everything that you guys do. Uh, it's such a wonderful channel and it's growing and I really love that it's growing. This is my dream come true. So thank you for everybody that is a part of it, obviously. Um, yeah, have a great day. Namaste. Great reading. Thank you, Taurus. Peace.